So going in for a really important, but I expect a very sobering discussion about the situation in Afghanistan. 9th of September, we discussed it, and I fear that uh, much of what we hoped for then actually hasn't come to pass, and much of what we feared then has come to pass. I'm really worried about the situation of women on the ground in Afghanistan. We, um, we know they're being targeted. Uh, they're being targeted for their education. They're being targeted for their day-to-day uh, -day, uh, ability to work. They're being targeted for their activism. Um, it's, uh, we can't look away, frankly. Um, I think that we know we have to deal with the reality on the ground, which is the Taliban, but that doesn't mean uh, that we accept uh, the conditions that women are currently living in um, and being prevented from access to education and, and uh, jobs. I think that would be a historic betrayal if we turn away now from them. Uh, we recognize the extraordinary humanitarian crisis um, on the ground. It's now developing to the world's most serious humanitarian situation. We want to see the UN in a position to deliver aid to the people who most need it. Um, we will continue to work uh, at the Council uh, to support the Secretary General and uh, the humanitarian aid workers in, in, um, in Afghanistan, but we will continue also to say there is not a negotiable element in any of this arrangement that uh, is the cost of women's uh, rights, their fundamental rights to um, liberty and to uh, an education and a participation in both their um, their labour market, but also in their society uh, and in the political shaping of the future of Afghanistan. Is the international community doing enough in terms of the humanitarian situation, in terms of funding, in terms of the speed of getting resources to Afghanistan? Well, I think if we're looking at the greatest humanitarian crisis in the world, the answer to that is no, we're not yet uh, there. Clearly, there are issues about humanitarian support, humanitarian access. Um, the Secretary General very powerfully said at the beginning of this, the UN is on the ground to stay and deliver, and that's what we want to see the UN doing. Um, we also want to see, uh, as I've said before, we want to measure the Taliban, who are the de facto authorities there now, by their actions and not by their words. So we want to see that that aid is uh, delivered in a way that uh, is uh, respectful of international humanitarian law and of the fundamental human rights of all Afghans, and particularly the, uh, <laughs> the fundamental rights of women that I've just spoken about there. We need to step up. Uh, support, but we all also need to make sure that there's an understanding about the support of the international community uh, for the uh, the people of Afghanistan. You have no leverage over the Taliban, though, do you, at all, really? I think that the Security Council and its united voice uh, in support of the people of Afghanistan is what matters here, and we will continue to speak out. I've also been meeting with the women of Afghanistan who are in Afghanistan and who have a powerful voice, and I don't think that any uh, government or de facto authority need, should have to think about the leverage that comes from their own people. The people of Afghanistan know what they need and what they want. It's our job to try and support them in that. Thank you.